the housing market just changed again. Higher mortgage rates continue to impact demand from potential home buyers going because we saw interest rates start to come down and then rise back up. What does that mortgage rate mean for the buyers? In this video, we're going to talk about what's going on in the current housing market as of March 2024. Let's get right into it. So as you know, the market is always changing and that's on a lot of different factors. But what we do know is that interest rates are still on their way to come down. It's not official as to when the first rate drops are going to actually start, but it's looking like it's going to start around about May. But here's the thing. A lot of the first time home buyers right now don't care too much about the rates. They're running into another issue, how much they're going to be able to get for their pre-approval as well as inventory. All right. Let's talk about the first one. So as we know, home prices have been increasing since 2020, 2021. The good thing about the recent in the last 90 days, home prices have actually gone down and then they started to increase again. But again, just because they went down does not mean that they went down to what they were prior to 2020, prior to 2021. All that means is, is that you saw slight discounts, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000. But you're, you're missing the point where all the prices went up $50,000 or so. And that's essentially how the real estate markets go. It goes up a lot more than it comes down. So it goes up, it dips a little bit, and then it goes back up. But that dip we saw lasted all of last year. Now prices are starting to go back up. But then that leads to the next issue. There isn't enough inventory, okay? So you have buyers that want to buy. It's not a lot of inventory, and they're not getting a whole lot for their money. So a lot of buyers are looking at alternative you know, options. For example, they are considering FHA 203K, for example, in which you can find the property and then actually get a rehab budget to actually start working on that property. A lot of first time home buyers they're reaching out to or they're looking at pre foreclosure property, you no know, uh, auction type properties and things of that sort. So they're getting very creative on how they're able to go into homeownership. Another thing that a lot of first time home buyers are doing are doing what they call assumable mortgages. Essentially, an assumable mortgage is essentially when a person Person, person A is the person that owns the home. They live in the home currently. This is the seller, okay? And the first time home buyer, instead of them doing what they normally would do, which is get pre approved, get that pre approval, present an offer to the seller, and then they go from there and they move on, but the buyer you know, closes with their lender, okay? In this case, with an assumable mortgage, the first time home buyer, and they don't have to be a first time home buyer, I wanna be clear, but the home buyer essentially says, hey, seller, I'll take over your mortgage so I can take advantage advantage of that low interest rate, we agree upon whatever price point that's going to end up being and I can pay you the difference. So there's a lot of different ways that people are stepping into this and trying to figure out how they can go into home ownership without having to A, either have deal with these higher prices or B, deal with the higher interest rates. But like I mentioned, interest rates will be on their way coming down with the first wave starting around May. Now, we will have more updates as we continue on so everyone can get up updated on everything that's going on in general, but the housing market has most definitely changed. Now, is it still a buyer's market or is it now a seller's market? It is still a buyer's market, okay? There are way more buyers than there is actually, you know, even though it feels like it's a seller's market, sellers just came out of one of the biggest, you know, increases, you know, in not just price points, but in 2020, 2021, where it was some of the biggest years in real estate sales. But then last year, they actually came came out of one of the worst real estate markets since 1995. So they're still sitting on a lot of these houses. Just like buyers want to buy, sellers have to sell. Or again, sellers have to sell in some cases. So they're not in a position where they have where they can wait and see what the market is going to do. Some people are moving. Some people are downgrading, upgrading, dying, divorcing, whatever the, the reason is as to why people are selling their properties. So again, if they're pressed for time, they don't care about what the rates are. They don't care about what the market is doing. They're going to almost give these houses away in certain cases if they can do so. So right now, it's still a great time to purchase. Here's another reason why you should consider going into the market right now. And I hate to sound like a real estate agent. I'm not trying to talk you into it. These are just pros and cons. Right now, if you decide to purchase property, the only con that you're really going against is really what the rates are and obviously the home prices. But again, right now, you can get some pretty good deals. Sellers are paying closing cost assistance. They're taking money off of the price 
price points. They are paying down uh, you know, rates so you can have a better monthly payment. So there's a lot of what's going on right now. And uh, sellers are most definitely in a position to start helping a lot of people. And if you get the right house right now, you may even catch $10,000 off of what it's worth, $15,000 off of what it's worth just so they can sell that property. But then you also have, if you decide to wait, you're going to have competition. This is something that didn't happen last year. You got to, you have to understand something. Not much has really changed from now, from, to, you know, from last year. The rates went down just a little bit, but they, they, they went back up. So it's really about the same as last year. The only difference is people waited last year and now they pretty much have to go into homeownership for whatever reason. Same thing with sellers. Some people have to make these decisions right away. And so that's why you've seen a lot of good deals come together because people are saying, hey, I'll take this for this. And then the sellers are saying, well, hey, we could do this if you do this. Great. Let's come to an agreement because I'm looking to buy a house and great. You're looking to sell your house. All right. So of course, if you like this video, you're most definitely going to love the next one and I'll see you there.